So I'm back onto my second painting and here's the one that I've basically been throwing all my beige paint onto from the other sample that I'm doing. And so what I'll do is I will start to blend in more white because I definitely want a lighter color on this one. All three of the paintings will have kind of a beige background to it, though the other one might have some light blue and green tints to it. So the attempt is just to show different ways of bringing a painting to life, starting from a neutral tone. Because many times when people see beige, you think of it as a very generic looking color. And I'm trying to show a way to take that color and really embolden it with brights and texture. So I'm just taking it to the end. Again, not making it too perfect. I want to leave some of the texture in there. I definitely use a lot of paint. Um, and then as you can see, I leave a lot of the paint, the brush strokes in there, because I like seeing that in the final product that I come up with. And some people won't and you know so that's fine too but I think more than anything I like to do that so that people who are hesitant with trying sometimes when they see kind of a messy effect it allows them to feel a little more um, empowered to just play with the paint and not necessarily feel like you have to have some perfection in your process so that's what I think I bring to the table as a teacher is that I am not really going for per perfection. I'm more about the social aspect that you can find when you paint in community and craft together and about that feeling you get once you, you really get past any fear that you might have of making a mistake. All right, so this one is all set to go. Um, I'm just going to let it dry. I might add a little bit more white paint in here. Um, just to lighten it up just a little more in spots. And then I'll let it dry.